pour a glass of craft beer, we can do this. Yeah. So to get a bit controversial, um, Ten Barrel, like one of the breweries, I guess it's local that uh, we bought it out. Mm -hmm. I know uh, you know the big one recently, uh, Wicked Weed. Yep. Uh, how do you feel about the whole buyout uh, thing? I know Dallas Point. I know it wasn't yeah. bought by AB, but you know, um, yeah, they were uh, your, yeah uh, Constellation brand. Yeah. So like Corona and stuff, like yeah. which is a bit different. I guess it's not quite the devil. So <laughs> how do you? Uh, What's your personal, and this is, you know, you don't have to speak on behalf of the company, like what's your oh, personal Oh, don't worry about that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, I'm just curious to hear uh, particularly Adi. Generally, I don't care because it's business. So they're just doing what they're best for them. So, right. I mean, if someone offers you, you a billion dollars, you'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah. probably going to take it. Yeah. I'll make another brewery. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I forgot the guy was, uh, the guy that did sold Goose Island made a cider, cidery and sold it right afterwards. I'm like, that guy is really smart. Yeah, wow. He just keeps making money. He's like printing money, <laughs> yeah. that guy. Yeah. But, but really, like, it, it is competition. I mean, I, I don't generally like the way that they do business, but I also don't like how other breweries they do business either. So to me, I don't like that Tim Barrel came into town, or it's in our neighborhood, too, it's down the street. Right. Um, they're not from here, right? No, they're from Ben. No, they're not from Ben. From Denver, maybe? I'm not sure where they're from. They're, they're nice. The guys that own it, they came here a few times. They had managers meeting here before. Like, I mean, I've seen them here. I haven't gone there yet. But... Um, Again, I don't. I can't be worried about them. Like, if I'm worried about them, I'm not worried about my product. So, at the end of the day, yeah, like their business practices, and I don't have to do them. But I don't. If I let it affect me, then it's gonna. I, I just no. I can't have that. Like, I need to worry about the beer. And like they, they can. I, I like I told like the beer writer in town that he didn't post what I said, but I told him I really just don't give a fuck with the women in town. Like I just don't care. Like it's not like it's yeah. It's in my neighborhood, and they could take business from me, but it's like I think my beer is good enough that you know what it, competition's coming. Cool. Right. Okay, but uh, yes, I don't, I don't like it. But I, it's it is a business, and business is. I mean, you got to move forward. I mean, they're trying to survive as a company, and they're trying to figure out how to do that. And I, I understand it. Right. So you can separate the business from the art. Yeah, yeah I mean, I don't like it. I don't. I mean, I haven't gone there. I haven't heard anything good about their beers, and they're not doing great in San Diego. But it's like those guys are still making lots of money. So I mean, yeah. I don't really feel bad for them. No, <laughs> fair.